Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Virgos. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast. I am working with three decks here today. I've taken time to shuffle them and ask Spirit to send you what you need to see, know, and expect. Possibly the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week, or past, present, and future energy, whichever way you decide to take it. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you. That requires a personal reading with me. Um, you're all, you have your all over energy card and you have your surrender card at, for the outcome, what you need to do to change things around you this week. So first of all, we start off here with your all over energy card and that is the orphan card. And it refers to feeling lonely on your own, feeling as though you're, you're, uh, you, maybe you feel like you've been left out in the cold, you're, you're, um, you know, you're out in left field. Um, you could feel as though you haven't been brought into the in crowd. Maybe some of you at work are feeling as though you're being ignored or, you know, or at school. I mean, if you're at an age where you're in university and you might not feel as though you're being accepted, you know what? You're a beautiful individual. You're unique. You're one fingerprint in time and don't allow other people's opinions of you to make you feel lonely and alone. But maybe some of you are pulling within yourself. Maybe you want to be on your own. Maybe you want to feel that way. But orphaned is a very strong word and that means as though some of you may be feeling as though you're having to battle on by yourself. So let's move through this reading and find out what we have coming in towards us that could help that situation. Your, all, your energy, your second energy card, which is your surrender card here, and could be your outcome card, you have surrendered to the wisdom of your body. So listen to your body's messages uh, about a person or situation. If you feel, uh, feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious about it. If you are feeling energized and happy, then go for it. Um, you know, often um, we get these messages that come in. And you know, when, we, when they say pay attention to the messages from your body, that means spiritually and mentally and emotionally as well. How do you feel about a situation uh, right now? What can you do to change uh, change things? Well, you listen to the messages you're receiving. If you're not feeling physically great, then you have to take care of yourself and do what's important. I'm not a doctor, but a lot of you might feel at this time you may need some professional uh, help to make you feel better. For others, you know, you might want to do some some beautiful meditative work if you're if you're uh, feeling a little out of sorts especially if you're feeling that you're battling with things on your own you may want to seek out some help uh, and some people that truly care about you and want to be in your end of the ring to make you know that you're worthy of being in the in crowd as I put it uh, or being um, welcomed and wanted into some situation and you're not fighting your battles alone so pay attention um, often you know you could be going into uh, self-discovery you might be going into meditative work to manifest what you want you could be getting involved in some healing and universal life force energy uh, healing uh, modalities as well. That's what my guides are telling me. Now coming in um, behind you, which could be the beginning of the week or past tense, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Four of Cups, and you have this Queen of Swords, and I love that. Now, the Ten of Wands says you have pushed yourself really hard. Um, you felt as though you were taking on everything by yourself here, uh, but it's over. The Ten of Wands says you, you've done all you can do. You felt as though you had were taking on the burdens of the whole world here, possibly uh, pushing dead weight or pulling dead weight uphill. It could have been in a relationship, a one-sided relationship, and now you realize you're going to clean house. You're moving on. You could have felt as though you were um, you know, in a no-win situation. You could have felt that you were bored and you know that there was something better for you out there. The Four of Cups says keep your options open because yes, the way you're going to resolve this if you feel as though you pushed yourself, you were the, in a one-sided relationship, is you're letting go. You're getting rid. You're cleaning house of, and getting rid of what no longer serves you. Uh, maybe you've just broken off from a relationship with somebody or you've walked away from a toxic relationship or friendship, so-called friendship. Um, others, I think you may have taken on too much work. Uh, you got through it. You might have had deadlines you had to push for. You did complete it. But now, you know what? It says it's over. You're able now to move forward. Also, letting go of burdens that don't belong to you anymore. Carrying that weight of others on your shoulders. It's done. You cleaned house. You said, I'm not going there anymore. I'm done. I'm moving on. And you realized and you, for quite a while you felt sort of stagnant and stuck in this position. But not anymore because the 10 says it's over. You've, you've got through the worst and now you've got a fresh start 
start here to begin because you realized your worthiness. You realized that you needed to pay attention to the signs coming into you, that you needed to let go of certain things that were holding you back from going forward in a positive, productive, and happy, peaceful, successful direction. Now, coming in in the middle of the week, or possibly the energy that you're feeling now, you've got that beautiful card of the star, the nine of wands, and the moon. So, you know, you might still be feeling, um, you know, as though there's information here or secrets in the background you need to find out about. I think you will. Do your research. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. And know that what you're offering uh, to a certain situation or event is enough. You have all that database to go forward. The moon always comes out at the darkest times of our day and it illuminates everything it shines on so you're going to be able to see your path clearly clearly now just get you know do some research you might be doing research to find out some information you need to have now you've got the nine of wands and this is saying don't give up don't roll over don't uh think that you haven't got all the elements and all the resources here to succeed or go for what you want you created something here that you deserve to protect and you deserve to defend there could be opposing energy that wants you to quit wants you to roll over that thinks you're going to give up but uh uh you're not going to do that because you're showing your strength here with the queen of swords by saying i'm not doing that i'm going to get rid of what no longer serves me so i can go forward and this is you you know showcasing yourself wish upon a star my beautiful beautiful virgos you have this opportunity coming in to light your own path to be able to be the, be the headliner on your stage showcasing yourself and all the beautiful elements gifts and and that you have to offer uh, and you know i think it's because of your own willpower here that you do see this star power come into play so i do think that you're going to be setting yourself up to move forward in a beautiful new direction and that was your crossing over energy here the universe saying you know don't give up now, coming in uh, towards you at the end of the week, you have the world, you have the Eight of Cups, and you have the Emperor. So in your heart of hearts, you do realize there's, a, there's something better for you out there. And I think some of you are making those changes to go in a new direction, whether you're leaving a job, a career, starting your own business, going to somewhere new, or whether you have, you know, you've got rid of what no longer serves you. <clears throat> and you may have been in a situation where you felt held down, held back and, uh, you know, carrying the burdens of the world on your shoulder. You fought a hard battle here, but now you're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. And now you can go forward and know that there's a better future now this is a card of balance because you're not there yet there's still things you have to find out maybe you know maybe with this moon card having to find out information that you need to have to be able to successfully go for it but keep moving in that direction it's a good one and i think you know you realize that you now are taking control of your emotions and your life the emperor is all about doing things structured and being organized and also you know i think you're going to be doing what's right for you you have that right you are the leader of your own life and the emperor has leadership qualities some of you could be asked to step up and travel here because you do have the world card and maybe you're being asked to go forward here with a new position a new job maybe you're you're traveling for business maybe you've got some sort of a promotion that's taking you in a brighter new future direction where <clears throat> you're going to be in control of the situation you're going to be your own boss uh, being able to do things in an organized manner that's going to benefit you in the long run and you know you could also be taking a trip here <clears throat> you could be going on a business trip or even a, pro a personal trip here um, I do see that you know when the world shows up it often means you know that you could be going uh, somewhere uh, but it, it's also the fact that it's completion of one cycle going into a new one, beginning a new stage here. So this is your new direction you're going into, and you've got control of, of the direction and the steering wheel, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. So this is great. So let's see what we have here for clarification. What have we got here for you? Spirit, what does Virgo need to see, know, expect, possible past, present, and future energy? Or beginning, middle, and end of the week. <clears throat> Thank you. Let's see what we have here for you. Just pay attention to the signs that you're seeing. Take care of yourself. Um, and ask for assistance. Um, you know, if you're feeling you need help here by being alone. But I think you're moving on in a good direction. I think, you know, you've realized you're taking control here. Getting rid of what doesn't serve you. Serve you. And moving forward. So... Let's see what we've got here for coming in towards you. You have the Seven of Pentacles. 
And I definitely think you've put your feelers out there. You've put out some sort of proposal idea. You planted your seeds well, and you are moving forward. This says don't worry. Um, it's unnecessary worry if you're waiting to hear about this proposal idea um, <clears throat> that you've sent out there. Or even maybe you've, you're, you have put out a resume waiting to hear about an interview. Whatever the case is, you're going to see that you don't need to worry about it. It'll be coming in in your favor. Now, the center of the week and, and the present energy, look what you've got. You've got the Four of Wands. Reason to celebrate. Reason to move forward. Not to worry. It lands here with the star. You know, you defended what you wanted and you've got the information that you required to move forward. So you could be celebrating. Maybe you're moving, moving your business, moving your home. Um, <clears throat> finding security there. It could be a partnership. It could be long-term plans here where you're committing to something whether it's a relationship or whether it's in business. So I do think also for others, you could be getting an invitation perhaps to a beautiful occasion that you can celebrate with others. Coming in at the end of the week, what you need to expect is a high priestess. I love her. She has this ability to be able to see beyond the veil. She has this ability to trust her instincts, her intuition. She delves deep. She does her research and she gets all that information. She holds that paper in her hand so she's in control. She knows where she's going. And I think this is all about you trusting your instincts this week, <clears throat> listening to the signs that you're being told and shown emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically here to go forward here. I don't think you're going to feel alone for much longer, but you could be stepping out alone on your own to open a business or do something that's enterprising here this week. Beautiful, beautiful messages. Well, um, I, th I do believe that this is going to be a great week for you. Um, you've learned now that you've got over the worst of a situation. You've got over the hump and now you're able to move forward in a much easier, lighter way because you've cleared out what wasn't serving you. You walked away from what didn't help you grow. <clears throat> and, you, and you realize for a long time you've been thinking about doing this and now you've done it. So you're free now to put out new offers, opportunities, proposals, ideas out into the universe and you're waiting to hear. And I think you're going to see it come in because you've shown showcased yourself very well and you stood up for yourself you defended what you've created and now you know with with trusting your instincts and and what you've got to offer to the universe you're going to have reason to celebrate this you know going the distance here with the world card completion full circle and taking and going into the next phase here and in one phase beginning of a new one walking into that new future here which is brighter it's taking time you're not quite there but you're you you can be able now to know that if you trust your instincts and your intuition you're going to control again here you know being organized and logical and moving on your own so maybe this orphan card means that you're going to be self-employed you're going to be your own boss you're going to be in control of yourself so not so bad if we look at it that way well <clears throat> my beautiful beautiful virgos this is your reading for today and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to Let's all continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll see each other very soon. Always know that I stand in this circle of love and light for you, and many blessings and much love. See you soon.